Can I go out there and actually play basketball with the boys and maybe get a little bit physical, push myself to the max a little bit, take that extra step or two down the, down the road to, to walk with the boys when we take the dogs out and such. So one of the, those are one of the things that I can enjoy and not have to think about, am I gonna take a walk down the road and be able to come back? I live with the device like I don't have the device, really, because I really, like I uh, had mentioned before, I really don't know that I have it unless I see it, um, you know, when I'm swimming or, or things of that nature. It does not get in the way. So I do everything that I used to do uh, for the most part. Each person's experience is different, but after you heal from the implant surgery, you should be able to pretty much go about doing the same things you did before the implant. Once the device is implanted and the incision healed, usually about a month afterwards, the patients have many questions about driving, exercise, and going back to work. We recommend that the patients resume as normal a life as possible, which might include regular exercise, going back to work, and traveling. The whole idea of having the ICD is to live as normal a life as possible, and that's what we want them to do. There are many tools available to the patients that we can give them. There are CDs, there are DVDs, there are pamphlets that we can give the patients, as well as websites that we can direct the patients to if they have a computer. As well, our nurses are very knowledgeable and are able to answer just about any question that the patients can ask. Having an implantable defibrillator provides security in knowing that it's there to correct your heart rhythm should you need it. Your implantable defibrillator may deliver a shock to your heart if it detects a problem. I know that if it does go off, I can call, uh, I, I can call my hospital and uh, right away to let them know what they usually ask me is what I was doing at the time uh, that it f uh, fired off and how I, how I felt before and how I felt, how I'm feeling now. And uh, it usually has always, uh, there's all, it's, I've always felt fine afterward. You may have questions about how your activities may be affected by your implantable defibrillator and the types of adjustments that you may need to make. It's important to get accurate and up-to-date information as there are many misconceptions about things you can and can't do with an implantable defibrillator. Your doctor or nurse can give you more information about the most common concerns people have about implantable heart devices. They can also answer your questions about using items in your home or work environment and what activities you can and cannot do. For Vivian, an implantable defibrillator has given her the opportunity to work in a gift shop, travel with her husband, and spend time with her family. The device is not a problem at all when I travel. Uh, at the airport, I usually ha I show them my card uh, that says I have an implantable uh, defibrillator. It's not a problem at all. It just makes me feel that I can do whatever I want to do. Uh, there's no obstacle and uh, that there's, I have a guardian angel right here. It made me feel very safe and secure that if it ever happened again, she was protected. She was, you know, they, this, this device would save her basically. For Ian, an implantable defibrillator has given him the opportunity to get married, start a family, pursue a career, and his hobbies. I still operate my car. I can still play with my child. Um, I still do, um, you know, uh, athletic activities such as golf and jogging and, um, you know, all of those normal activities. Had it not been for my device um, being implanted, I wouldn't be here right now to tell you uh, my story about how this has uh, been uh, great for me in my life. And, you know, now I have a child and, and a wife, and it's just great to be able to um, have those things that I wouldn't have had before uh, having this device. <laughs>